Daily Vlog, Day 16. Have you ever had a nightmare that really just freaked you out? I don't mean just in the moment when you woke up and weren't quite sure where you were and, and it took you a second to get your bearings. I mean one that stuck with you throughout the whole day, long after you realized it was just a dream. I had one of those last night. I won't go into too much detail, but just know that in my dream, my wife was a skeleton for most of her torso to her knees. Yeah. She was walking around fine like it didn't bother her at all. However, we had these closets or wardrobes of sorts that she had extra, I can't describe it anything other than a Christie suit. She had her whole body as a suit, four and five of them in these separate wardrobes that she would have to put on every few hours because the old skin was wearing off. No, I have not been to Colorado in the past couple of weeks. We were on vacation in the dream and she had to bring these wardrobes with her. And at some point, we were taking a caravan of cars through the countryside on our way to some campground somewhere. For whatever reason, she wasn't with me in the car. She was three cars ahead. And I was worried that she had forgotten one of her wardrobes with the whole body Christie suit in it. I was in the car with two guys who were my dream friends. Really, I have no idea who they are, but we were pretty tight in that dream. Well, apparently the third guy in the caravan lost sight of the second car and decided he was just gonna try and drive on his own to this campground. Long story very short, we wound up on a train going from Chicago all the way across the country until it reached the northern tip of Maine, based solely on a road atlas one of my friends pulled out of the back seat of my car. We didn't know the name of the campground. We didn't know what train we were supposed to take. We just hopped on the first train we could find in this very Parisian looking train station. And the whole time we were on the train, I kept trying to call Christy. But somehow we were in mountainous areas all along the northern part of the United States. And so neither of us had cell service. For all I knew, the campground was a couple of miles from where we had lost the caravan. But now we found ourselves on a train bound for the north of Maine. I woke up terrified. Not just because I didn't know where we were going and I couldn't contact my wife but the images of her as a partial skeleton were just way too much to take. I don't know why I had this nightmare. I mean, Christy and I ate dinner a little late and we watched an episode of Bones before going to bed, which could have reasonably contributed to the whole skeleton thing. But the truth is I may never know why I had that dream. I just hope to God I don't have it again. And I don't claim to know much about why we have nightmares. I mean, some people say it's your brain just working things out in your sleep. And other people say it's stress, anxiety, and fears, and all these other things coming to a head in the unfiltered morass that is your sleeping brain. All I know is that it freaked me out so badly that I couldn't shake those images for a long time. Now, I don't like having nightmares, but the funny thing about them is they make you appreciate reality a little more. I mean, I've had wonderful dreams where I've woken up sorely disappointed that that flying utopia that I was in wasn't real. But when I wake up from a nightmare, I am always, always happy to see that I am still in my reality. And maybe that's the point of nightmares. Maybe it's to help you appreciate what you have. Or at least, <laughs> maybe it's your brain telling you, hey, things could be a lot worse. Or maybe it's the equivalent of a night fart going on in your head. I have no idea. All I know is that I'm far more appreciative of reality <laughs> after a nightmare than ever before. So what kind of things have made you appreciate reality more? Or what were some of the weirdest nightmares that you've had that just kind of stuck with you and freaked you out for a while. Please let me know I'm not alone in this. This has been daily vlog number 16. 349 to go. I'll see you tomorrow. Pleasant dreams.